What's up you guys? This is Oswaldo from Rock Entry. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna talk about three reasons why you are not progressing. Let's get started. Reason number one, you're avoiding your weaknesses. This is something that a lot of us do. I did in the past. I've talked about this in the past. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it in the description below. But yeah, we tend to avoid the weaknesses. So for instance, if you're good with crimps, you tend to do more climbs with crimps involved, um, heavily on crimps. But once you start seeing a sloper, you're like, ah, I'm okay. <laughs> I used to do that, I used to do that. So, you know, you gotta work on whatever your weaknesses are. So for instance, if you're bad with drop knees with a certain technique like flagging, if you don't understand flagging, and you're just working on projects where you don't have to flag, you know, eventually you're gonna need to know how to flag. So you just have to work on it. So work on your weaknesses. This could be if you're weak on your lock-offs, work on your lock-offs. If you're weak on a certain type of hold, work on that certain type of hold. If it's pinches, work on pinches, slopers, same thing, slopers. Whatever it is, work on your weaknesses. If your upper body's weak and you can tell, work on your upper body strength all right what is number two sorry I have my uh, notes here all right reason number two and this is something that I used to hear a lot when I first started because obviously I wanted to progress fast I wanted to get good at climbing and stuff like that and it's when you're just climbing so this is the thing it is awesome like just climbing is only gonna take you so far and yes we do have those friends that just climb and they're just crazy strong but I gotta be honest with you most of us are gonna need training most of us are gonna lose some need to lose some body fat and work on that most of us are gonna need some strength training that we need um, so you gotta do more than just climbing you gotta you know going back to the weaknesses if if you don't have strength strength is required once you get to a certain level of climbing because technique can only take you so far and then you need strength and then uh, you need both eventually for sure they both matter both strength and technique matters a lot the higher the grade you go for sure without a doubt all right reason number three why you are not progressing and this is a big one this actually is gonna help you progress because this is something that you're probably not doing and it's setting goals setting goals is so important because in order to progress in order to see progress you have to be able to measure it so if you're only using your grades like v6 v7 v5 whatever it is you're grade chasing first of all and that's what makes you plateau a lot faster by the way because you're just so focused on the grade and you skip the fundamentals because again you, you don't really learn flagging because you're 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 just using most of your strength to climb this route because you just want to get that v5 or v6 um and it's true there's you know a lot of people great chase and that's where you plateau and i gotta be honest i did that myself <laughs> and i went from v6 and i went backwards to v0 and started all over again so going back to goals and what i mean by goals is measurable goals what this means is measure your strength you know focus on your strength how many pull-ups can you do you know if you can only do five you know can you do five with added five pounds and then if that's your max can you add more weight you know that's how you can measure your strength same thing with your week on your lock offs work on your lock offs how much do you want to lock off for how long do you want to lock off and hold something as simple as that your core is pretty weak work on your core focus on your core yeah you know measure your goals if again going back to flagging if you don't know how to flag work on it and then once you start seeing progress once you start seeing yourself using it and actually feeling good about it that's progress that's a lot that's a lot of progress to be honest like little things like that really matter and not a lot of people uh, do that and that's you start adding all of those things that you're doing and you're gonna see yourself progressing even faster for sure all right you guys i hope you found this helpful and it helps you throughout your climbing journey and your progress if you like this video please do hit that like button and if you haven't yet subscribe so you can get more climbing tip videos just like this 
I love you guys so much for watching. Seriously, it means a lot for taking your time to watch my videos. And I just want to help you guys. That is my goal, and I will continue doing this. Thank you so much.